Well, welcome back everyone. Today we're actually going to take a look at the actual hub motor itself. Oh, it's a bit of a beast of a thing. Today what I want to do is just identify the hall sensor outputs and just get that all sorted out. So I'm just going to write a little bit of Arduino code just to read those inputs and see which is which. So let's get started now. Okay, for the test I'm going to use inputs PA15, PB4 and PB5. So we'll just define them in the code here. Okay, so let's get them connected up. On my motor I found black was zero volts, the red was the positive, and yellow I'm wiring to PA15 as sensor one. The blue is going to PB4 as sensor two, and the green is going to PB5 as sensor three. I'm actually going to leave the supply voltage off at this point in time until we're ready to go. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the code and see what we're doing. We're just setting up the serial port and then setting up the inputs with pull-ups on them, reading the values in and then calculating the actual commutation position and then outputting that over the serial port. Okay, so let's download that code into the actual controller. Now let's open the serial monitor and see what's going on. Okay, so we've got all ones. Now let's connect up the power to the actual sensors. And I'm running this off 3.3 volts just to see how it goes. And if we give it a turn, you can see the values are changing. So all looks well. Okay, so let's bring in the commutation sequence that we're sort of looking for and just see if this agrees with what we're expecting. Okay, so six, two, three, one, five, four, six, two, three, one, five. Fantastic. Okay, so let's bring up the serial plotter now. So we're at five, four, up to six, so I'll drop back to four, but up to six, and down to two, so there's two up to three, you should see one, uh, up to five, and then we went through the four, then up to six. Perfect. Okay, great. So the Hall Effect sensor wiring is sorted out. One thing, it's a little bit difficult to turning it without it mounted up. So I may make a mount, I think, just to make this a little bit easier with regard to the further testing, but all good. Okay, well, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers for now. If you like what I'm doing, then please do like the video. If you'd like to see more, then please subscribe and don't forget to hit the chime so you get notified when I post something new. And I'll put a couple of links here to some other videos you can look at.